Hey everybody, this is Elise with Reliable Equipment Sales. Today we're here to talk about drum pumps, specifically the manufacturer Flux. These are pumps made in Germany, but they are distributed out of Georgia with very, very good stock and availability. So the first question is, what is a drum pump? This right here is a 55 gallon drum. The standard drum pump length would be a 40 inch. This is something that's very readily available. The Flux comes in a 39 inch as their standard. There are other lengths available depending on uh, what the height of your drum is or the application. So when we talk about drum pumps in general, you have the portion that goes into the drum, that is the pump portion, and then you have the portion outside of the drum, which is the motor portion. So this is Flux's F424 series Polypro sealless drum pump, again in the 39 inch length, and this is their variable speed FEM4070. It's a 115 volt with a plug and cord. It also comes in two 30 volt single phase options as well as explosion proof uh, air driven options, which most of the drum pump manufacturers do supply. It's two main components and they are sold separately or they're available in a kit on our website. But most people order them separately because if the motor goes, you don't need to order the complete pump and motor assembly. Now, sometimes we get phone calls with people thinking that the motor part number is the entire pump and motor assembly number, but that is not the case. The motor is just this portion, this top portion of this pump and motor assembly. And normally, if you're unsure, the pump model number is etched along right on the side here. In this case, it says F424PP for PolyPro 41 slash 36 dash 1000. The 1000 is a millimeter. The conversion would be 39 inch length. But let's actually take it apart and see why the flux versus other lines and what the difference is between those and the other uh, competitive lines out there. So now we've taken apart the drum pump motor from the drum pump itself. So if you were to place an order for an FEM4070, this is what you would receive via UPS. If you ordered just the drum pump portion, the F424PP or any of the other material series, there's Kynar and stainless steel, you'd receive the drum pump section alone, this portion, no motor. One of the biggest differences between Flux and the other lines is Flux has a union nut, this piece right here, which is part of the pump, that connects the pump to the motor instead of a hand wheel, for example, which some of the other lines, uh, the other manufacturer lines carry. You'd also receive with your pump a hose connection, a hose, hose barb connection that would connect to this threading. Again, if you're not sure which series pump you have, the model number is etched, ooh, sorry about that, right on the side right here. So again, this is the 39 inch poly pro length pump for a 55 gallon standard drum pump. Another difference, Flux, they design their drum pumps to be repairable. If you've ever experienced another brand out there, a lot of the times if, it, if the coupling or the impeller isn't the issue, you can't really repair it anymore. You can't really access the inside of the drum pump if the shaft failed or any of the sleeves inside of the bearings failed. This is a sealless pump, so there aren't truly any seals. There are O-rings internally. Uh, but another difference is the foot piece. Most of the foot pieces in other brands, they snap on, which can cause breakage. The foot piece's job is to protect the rotor. Flux's is a screw on. And here is the rotor. You can see it's a different in color than the tube itself. This is a European Poly Pro, which is uh, kind of like a cream color, but the impeller itself is an ETFE impeller. Most other manufacturers, the impeller is going to match the tube material itself. So in a Poly Pro drum pump, some of them are more blue out there. It would be a blue impeller. But again, Flux makes these pumps repairable. So besides the rotor, besides the coupling on the top and the union nut, the internals are repairable. They use a different material shaft. They use a Hassle C shaft instead of a standard stainless steel for chemical compatibility issues. The shaft in these drum pumps is thicker than most of the manufacturers out there, giving it more stability. The shaft itself is reversible. So if one of the threads goes on the bottom, you can flip it internally. So you get two times the life of it. So uh, is this more expensive? The question, yeah, the, the question that probably everyone is asking. Yes, it is, but it's kind of the Cadillac of the drum pumps. It lasts a lot longer. So depending if you know what's important to you, in my opinion, the Flux is an excellent line. Mm. They're repairable, they're worthwhile, and they work out on the field. 
So again, they come in different materials. This is the PolyPro. There is PVDF for, for highly caustic chemistries. There is stainless steel for explosives, etc. with the different version motors. So we've got the 115 volt. We've got a 230 volt option. We've got the F416s, which are the air-driven motors uh, with the trigger and without a trigger for flammable, um, groundable applications. But if you guys have any questions, please give us a call. We carry the flux line on our website in individual components, so the pumps and the motors, as well as complete kits for different applications. Again, my name's Elise. I'm with Reliable Equipment. Call us at 203-740-1877 or email us at sales at reliable-equipment.com. Thanks for spending some time with us. Have a great day.